And my brother said, I didn't know what to call this problem I have in my nose. He said, it's nausea. nausea. You know, I've been in English for long, studying English for a long time, okay, an English scholar. But I haven't really thought about what it's called because I've never really I mean, looked, went through it. And this reminds me of a saying of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, ما زال الرجل يطلب العلم فإذا ظن أنه علم فقد جهل A man or a human being is a seeker of knowledge as long as he or she feel feels that they have acquired knowledge become very knowledgeable they start to become ignorant they start to become because وفوق ذي كل ذي علم عليم and seeking knowledge does not stop at a certain age or a certain time or a certain degree. No, it continues forever. Min al Mahdi ila al Lahd, from cradle to death, to tomb, to grave. This is seeking knowledge, and knowledge has been really praised greatly. Inna ma yaksha Allah min ibadhi al ulama. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam indicated that the importance of. The, the scholars, he said, فَضْلُ الْعَالِمِ عَلَى الْعَابِدِ كَفَضْلُ الْقَمَرِ عَلَى سَائِرِ الْكَوَاكِبِ The level of uh, the, the, the status of Allahumma salli ala rasulullah of the scholars in comparison to the worshippers is like comparing the moon to other planets, okay, to other planets. You know, the moon is shining. Most planets are not really shining. So the people of knowledge, the scholars, just like light, they give light to others. People who worship in Allah, very good worshiper, they only give to them selves. You could be reciting the Quran for long hours, praying all night, but you benefit your... But if you come to somebody and you teach them, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ You could teach millions of people. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ And you get a great... Reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. Jazakallah.